as some of the most confident people you'll meet at the exact same time as being some of the most insecure people you'll ever meet because that's part of the job. Like we're constantly being scrutinized and judged and um, on our appearance, how people perceive us. You're going to play a game and you get to be whoever that character is. You get to be the princess or the dragon or the villain. Hello, my darling. Oh, sorry. To work. And all of those parts are human stories, maybe not the dragon, but all of the stories are human stories and so all of the stories exist inside of us. As soon as uh, Sean is mic'd, I can take her upstairs. Okay, great. I have actually been in a couple horror films, so this was quite interesting because it was such a small shoot, so condensed, um, trying to find those characters, trying to find those story beats in the moments. It's in such a short amount of time that you have to really figure out what you're doing beforehand and I actually had a lot of fun. I mean, people are like, is it difficult to be in a horror film? And I was like, no, you literally just run away, don't die, you know, job done. So I did that a lot and no spoilers or anything, but I was pretty good at not dying. Shona is, she's just very talented, comes prepared, does the work. And it's always, it's always delightful to have her come as a collaborator. We had such a short amount of time to do it in and we had to kind of craft it all in a very small location as well. So we had all crew kind of crammed into the same areas. And so we got a very, uh, I don't want to say karma suit trick, but we got very involved and creative with how we were able to get some of the shots. And I loved every minute of it, I'm not gonna lie. I guess we'll see how long we last tonight. We made it through the night last night, so I think we'll do pretty well tonight as well. Fun though, doing what you love, stay awake a lot longer. Shona, uh, I'd never worked with professionally. I'd met her before. She's a lot of fun. And I knew she was a lot of fun as a person. It was cool to get into character with her because I could see in her eyes that I was terrifying, so I felt terrifying. And then that affected my performance, right? And she could see with what I was going, like I think that was giving her a little boost for her fear. But honestly, I could have been terrible and she could have gone there because she's that talented of an act actress. But I know she helped me to be scary because I'm not that talented of an actor. <laughs> Noises were coming out of my body I've never heard before, so I'm, I'm one million percent sure that there was no acting involved there. Especially when like would pick me up, I was like, <gasps> like those were involuntary, like, please. There's times where I, where I would grab her or where I would be physical with her because that's that's the role and like we would work it out in advance because I wanted to make sure she felt comfortable. She was good to get tossed around. She was good for me to just dig my fingers into her arms and I and they'd say cut and be like, I'm sorry. She's like, no, that was perfect. We get along really well. We, we already, we spent some, some time together to like establish that family rapport. So it's gonna be fun. Even though that won't actually happen on screen. We're never gonna be happy. We had the support, we had the group, you know, I felt very, very supported and I felt like we kind of knocked it out. It, it wasn't hard. It was good. Maybe, I don't know, I haven't seen it. <laughs> it might not be good. The, the old Hollywood rule is never work with animals, never work with kids because you can't make them do what you want. Uh, and that's stupid. Working with kids, I have always found to be delightful. I've always enjoyed it. Most kids that want to act show up and are just as professional as adults for shorter periods. <laughs> Working with Audrey on this was amazing. Like, I was honestly a bit nervous because she's very, very silly. Like, she is always a ham, never taking things seriously. And I was a bit nervous that she was going to show up and just be a little shy and a little bit hee 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 and like not really get into it. You're a diva already. It's your first time on camera and you're already a diva. Come. What is a diva? A diva? I don't know what a diva is, but a diva is what you're being right now. And she just did it. Like she did a great job. She was fantastic actually. She was honestly more professional than I was most of the time. She stayed up so late and she was just a pro. It was not very hard to stay up that late. I'm gonna tell you how late I stayed up, which is later than I ever have before. It's just one hour later though. Um, one in the morning. It was just because there was so many lights on. What scenes did you do? In the closet, I was walking back and forth a lot, and then talking. Yeah. And then on the bed, I was sitting there and then talking. <laughs> well, that's acting in a nutshell. 
<laughs> Probably the hardest part for me was uh, in the scene where I'm in the closet sitting on the butt hurt box, which it is a wooden box that I had to sit on because I wasn't tall enough. And then show me your eyes. I need to see your eyes. And you keep you keep your eyes closed. I need to open your eyes. I just need to see your eyes. What's really fun about Audrey <laughs> is you could tell her dad's a director because this is all just second nature to her. There's long periods of time between setups where she could get tired or cranky and she didn't. She was just happy to be awake, having a good time, hanging out with all the adults. Can you say picture wrap on me? Take that mic off and get out of here? Yes. 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 <laughs> so, working with Jono as an actor, it, he's my oldest collaborator. Literally the first shot I ever directed had Jono in it. With Jono, there's a whole other level of connection there. About two thirds of the time when I'm giving him direction, he jumps ahead to where I'm going, goes, ah, okay, okay, here, let me try it. And he'll just nail it. Like exactly what I had half mumbled at him can I, can I give you one more just Do you pure, have a different one? Just pure experiment. It could be total crap. Let's go, yeah, something. let's go hog wild. Come look at the moon! <laughs> yes, <laughs> that was correct. One third of the time, he'll jump to something and he'll do something and it's completely bananas. And those are fun and they make for good outtake reels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> see a cow? Moose Turk! Look at the moon! Look at the moon! It was fun because we hadn't done it in 10 years and it, we just slid right back into it. It felt like goofing around when we were kids in our 20s. Jono's hilarious and terrifying. Terrifying. Honestly, I had not met Jono before this shoot. He's just such a warm, genuine person um, that that wasn't, that wasn't a stretch at all to just feel like, oh, this is somebody I've known for a long time. Oh, oh, that got more. Oh, no. It's okay. Pammy. Okay. <laughs> but I also didn't know much about his abilities, and so... <laughs> when we were rehearsing, Jono pitched an idea to me of falling down the stairs. I've worked with Jono before and I've seen him do stunts and stuff. And I was pretty sure he'd be fine. I was like, just go one quarter speed, go super slow. And he's like, okay, I know what this is. And so he just did it and Shona had no idea that it was coming. <laughs> I hit this. Something like that. You said one quarter speed, yeah. right? Yeah. So there's one quarter speed. <laughs> you feeling good? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. It was awful. And so when he gets up and he's fine, he's like bounced up. He's like, something like that. I was just like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a ride. <laughs> what am I in for? I did a lot of stunts when I was younger. Like now I sit around a lot for work. It doesn't lend itself to, hey, I'm ready for a painful stunt. It messed me up for about three weeks. People will be watching it and they're like, ooh, that dad bod was not prepared for that. And hopefully that's gonna sell the moment more. Hopefully people watch this and they're, and they're concerned just like the, the, the wife character is. <laughs> Is he dead? Did they kill Jono? Is cinema therapy done? His, I watched his life flash before my eyes. <laughs> Literally, was like, he's not coming out of that. He's laying on the floor and then he gets up and he's like, did we get it? <laughs> Just popped back up. Meanwhile, I was having an actual heart attack. Well, I really hope that will look good, because... <laughs> Did it? Did the head connect look good? It looks okay. good. How are you doing? Are you okay? I'm good. Where are you hurt? I'm got bangs and stuff, but I'm not. Okay. I'm not nervous about it. I was nervous before we were filming, but when I when I got to the places I got to and the cast and crew reacted the way they did, I was like, oh, that was good. That felt good, but they're confirming that was good, so. I mean, maybe I'll be completely surprised and it'll be a giant turd of a performance. But it didn't feel that way. They're lovely people, they're my friends, I've worked with them for years. It was pretty easy. It's like putting on an old glove. But like, not an old, like a fancy glove. It just fits well, you get it. You understand.
what was on the schedule for uh, one in the morning was lunch. Yeah, my favorite is we're going to get together tomorrow at 7 p.m. and everyone's going to say, good morning. <laughs>